this figure shows the pneumatic valve position. So the current position of the actuator is transferred to uh, through the beam and cam. So we can see this is the actuator diaphragm and we have sturm over here straight down to the valve and we have this actuator con valve connection stem uh, stem connection uh, so this uh, connection will show the current position of the valve if the valve uh, goes down the whole uh, link will go down okay so this uh, connection is through the beam and the cam so the control signal is given through a bellows so we can see the instrument coming from here and this is the bellows the supply pressure to the valve is controlled by a flapper nozzle system so we have flapper nozzle mechanism over here the flapper nozzle controls uh, the supply pressure by referring the feedback from the actuator and the set point signal so uh, the flapper nozzle will depend on the control uh, will depend on the supply pressure so the whole uh, connection of the mechanism will determine whether the supply air is to uh, we require more supply or we have to reduce supply so that feedback is given by this actuator stem connection